is our AHM product line. Not super new, but it is uh, an area that Allen & Heath has not necessarily been known for. Uh, 16 and 32 and 64 channel bi-directional DSP distributed audio. So it's not yet necessarily you know a user-driven device so much it is again custodial operation but you will find these in large sporting stadiums down to nightclubs you know we even have a chain of funeral homes, which you know has a bunch of these so operating this, these rooms. These different buttons are these different zones. Yep. So those are hotkeys. You can program them to do a myriad of functions, just like you would on a console. Um, a little uh, panel, which you can scroll up and down and actuate and affect changes if you want the user to do that. You may not necessarily. Uh, all processing is on all channels all the time. You do not run out of resources. Again, you're looking at. Um, 0.68 millisecond pass through. Sometimes these will be used as sort of traffic cops of audio through a facility. You may have a theater, a performance based church, um, something that's piping audio, maybe doing paging seven days a week. And then we have a preset where we have it aligned with uh, an Avantis or an SQ. Uh, where the console takes over the front end and this just becomes a distributed audio interface. There are several ways to control it. We have some tactile uh, controllers uh, in three flavors. So there's a single Decora wall box. This could be used as a program uh, firing scenes or presets of how a facility work or it'll be a scenes, uh, sorry, source selector or if I'm in a green room or some lobby, I can go, eh, you know what, I, I want to hear the ball game now. So I can just make a selection, choose volume up and down to control my zone. Uh, the IP6 is similar, times six. Um, it could be six encoders across six layers. So technically, this could be a 36 channel mixer. There's no audio running through these. It's just a, a network device. Um, so you can level control. You can have different layers showing up for different purposes. Sort of in the soft end of external control, we do have uh, an app, a system called Custom Control. Now this is something that you can program with a very simple editor with graphics and um, feature assignments on a Mac or a PC, by the way. We always give software for Mac and PC. <laughs> and what, what you essentially do is you program into the box a uh, custodial operation where a user credentialed person would log in with their you know, username and Wi-Fi, what device they're doing, and then their device, whether it's a phone, Android, iPhone, iPad, um, tablets, even a Mac or a PC, will populate up the graphics and control that you specifically want them to. So these are just you know, sort of generic presets. Kind of neat for somebody who wants to do system tuning or gives a user a little bit more control. We've added the ability to have parametric control um, presented to somebody. Now this could just be something as simple as a bass and treble, mm -hmm. like your car stereo, right, or so you could tune something at will. So if I get this right, say I'm the integrator, and I set up this beautiful routed system for my client, then I could go back and just make them a cute little interface here. That's so right. These are the only three things you need to worry about. Exactly. Your mic, and look, I made your record spin to yeah. pretty cool. Branded, right. and, and Part that's, of the whole that's added value right there. Exactly, because it's free. I don't have to hire a programmer. You know, now we do have drivers for AMX, Crestron, Extron. You know, a lot of third-party touch panel controls, where you can add part of our system control onto a larger, um, you know, office space or a facility. But this is free. You can bill for the programming time. It's technically not that hard. And again, you can kind of give anybody sort of what they're allowed to have. Um, by permission. What's this here? This is like some kind of Venn diagram of music? Yeah, <laughs> no, not exactly. So this is a, a room combining feature we added, I think about a firmware ago. So if you're in a large uh, banquet facility or some small, you know, um, convention center, we could have zone combining in different ways, which would be very typical of a product like this. So, so give an example of what's going on here as far as if music is playing here. Uh, well, this could be, uh, you know, soft partitioned rooms where you have one event happening during the day. Let's say you have three different meetings by three different clients during the day, and then um, a banquet facility would remove the soft partition doors. We hit another preset that combines everything into one. So it's, they call it room combining. It's sort of a soft configuration.